there must be three conditions which must be fulfilled before one can actually taste nibbana or the first stage of enlightenment so let's go one by one number one uh before nibbanic stage to arrive one one's ego must be dissolved uh as long as the ego is there a big eye is there a uh, nibbanic stage is far 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 away and that is why that is one of the main reason that in buddhist tradition uh or basically i won't say buddhism tradition i will say that buddhas uh you know suggested or recommend that when you live as a monk so you live in other people's charity so this is one of the very nice way to kill one's ego because when you are eating your food by begging so when you when you are begging something you know for your survival ego cannot exist but of course uh, it's a very difficult process but yes uh, that is why basically living as a monk uh, is a fastest way to dissolve one's ego and the movement towards the enlightened stage so number 1 ego should not be there as long as the ego is there if ego is here nibbana is far away enlightenment is far away and as much as ego is there that much unhappiness and misery will be there deep inside uh yeah so that is number one thing number two uh the attachment towards the religious traditions must not be there see you have to understand one thing there's a big difference between dhamma and the religion or dhamma or dharma whatever way you call it and religion or sampraday so there's a big difference between these two things so sampraday or the religion is basically for a small group of people dhamma is universal for everyone so as long as you have your tradition as a, as long as you have a attachment for your religious connotations religious traditions uh you are far far away basically from enlightenment stage or nibbana stage number third devotion towards the buddha's teaching see buddha basically learn all the different meditation techniques when i am saying buddha i am right now uh, mentioning siddharth gautam so buddha basically learn all the different techniques but he taught only one path which is the shortest fastest method to get enlightenment now if you do not have devotion towards the buddha's teaching or buddha's method uh there is no way you will walk on it and if you don't basically walk on that path uh enlightenment is not possible so these three things are the paramount for tasting nibbana for the first time uh if you have any query please feel free to write in the comment section and i will be happy to reply thank you very much for watching it